Okay, good evening guys. Well, tonight we're off to Liverpool because uh, we're going to photograph the world. That's uh, the floating world, floating planet. That's in the Albert Dock. Um, while well, it's still here, because of a night time it's all lit up. So we're going to go and photograph that, we'll get some shots before it goes. I think they've extended the date until the 21st. So I've no idea when I'll get around to editing this video and putting it out there. But I thought I'd uh, put another video out and go down and see what we can get. Uh, I love Liverpool of a night time anyway. But the fact that they've got this added bonus of uh, the floating planet. Because uh, last, <laughs> last time I went to go and see it, it was in... Um, it was in one of the lakes, ponds, or whatever it was in Wigan. Um, looking forward to going down to go and see it. We turned up there, uh, and unfortunately, they'd taken it down earlier that day because due to the high winds. So, I was a bit disappointed that we got down there, so I never got to see it. But this time, it's in Liverpool, city I love, so we're on our way to go and see it. So, I'll keep you updated in a bit. Cheers. So I've arrived in Liverpool, um, it's quite windy, the world is moving around quite a fair bit so what I've decided to do is when it's quite stationary I am taking um, a 0.7 of an exposure and taking five, five exposures of that um, hopefully it will stay still long enough for me to actually capture that like I said, it's quite windy at the moment. The lights are just starting to come on now. It is 25 past 8. Um, the sun sets at 7 minutes past 9 tonight. Um, the lights are just starting to come on. All the twinkly lights around the, the pillars around the Albert Dock. Um, but yes, um, provided that wind drops off, and once the world lights up, I think this uh, should look like it. It sounds quite crazy, though, doesn't it, when the world lights up? But yeah, I think this will look quite, quite an interesting shot. But yeah, I'll show you what I've got on the back of the camera at this moment in time. Just, uh, just give us a minute. Like I said, this is over um, five exposures, sorry. So there is other exposures here, ever just. Okay, so you can obviously see here um, there were some paddle boarders coming through the shot, and then here down this side, you can just see some lights coming onto the pillars. Coming on, uh, the light is hitting the actually the Albert Dock here just quite nicely. But yeah, these are all over several five exposures. So hopefully there'll be something there for me to actually have a look at. This is actually the live view now. So you can see my settings on that as well. I'm just gonna zoom in. As you can see the world is moving around. So I'm just waiting for that world to stop. I'm waiting for the light to come into the shot a bit better. Once it's stopped moving, I will take over the five exposures over a 0.7. Okay. Okay, so I got that one again over the five exposures. So hopefully that's turned out, you should be able to view that now.
lot more visitors here. Um, but the view is absolutely brilliant. It looks well lit up. Uh, it's looking really good. So this is what I am. So I've been taking panoramics uh, of this shot. Uh, I've done some bracketing. So if this has worked out, you should see the shot next. And I've moved around, it's a lot quieter now around here. Um, noises have gone down. So I've come around to the other side um, to take some shots where the light has dropped and they're getting a lot of reflections into the water. So what we're getting now is this. I'll just zoom in for you. So we're getting a lot of, as you can see, the colours in the water are absolutely fantastic. It's looking really nice. So I have taken a shot on the back of the camera, which I'll just show you guys now. Where am I? There we go. So I'll give that a quick edit and that should be on the video. So with this one, it is difficult with these because we're looking at FO, I'll have to boost the ISO on this one um, just to sort of get it sharp because it's so windy and that uh, globe is so much. It's really been difficult to try and get it to stay focused. So I am, like I said, I've had to boost the ISO just to try and keep it um, from overexposing really and keep the world sharp um, but yeah this has turned out really well um, or even half decent um, I'll put the picture up uh, so you should be able to see that now cheers so I've just found this structure it looks like an old crane by the look of it uh, and I thought I'd shoot through it to try and get the globe in there. Uh, I'm quite actually liking the shot. I've had to light it up with my torch, but it gives you something interesting to look at. Yeah, well, guys, I'll show you. I actually quite like the cogs on this one uh, and the structure, but if I show you what I've been looking at, this is the actual structure here. It goes all the way up. goes over to here so it's actually got a pulley system on the top of it so it was obviously used for bringing I don't know bags of grain in off the barges or boats it used to come in maybe don't know but I just thought uh, quite an interesting composition shooting through to try and get the shot so I thought I'd make use of it and that's the shot I've got. Like I said, I have to light it up a little bit. Uh, oops, it's gone. Come on, come back on. There we go, there we go. Yeah, like I said, I have to light it up with my um, torch up camera um, to light up all this area because without it, um, this is what you're going to be looking at. It's not very well lit up, and like I said, if I put it on a long exposure, um, it just comes out totally black, and with the globe moving in the wind, uh, it's really difficult to get in focus. So, that's, that's kind of the angle that I had it at. And as you can see how dark it is, I was just trying to say that. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it's quite dark. But I'll see what that turns out like. Uh, I might take a, a few more of them and see what they look like when I, um, when I get back on the computer. But yeah, it's something different. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go.
that's it, another trip done and we're on our way home hopefully got something in the bag uh, plenty of shots uh, went all the way around the Albert Dock to get shot the only shot I didn't get tonight was the shot with the the wheel the, the shot that you came for the shot that I came for yeah <laughs> I didn't get um, due to uh, them turning them turning the lights out early I did try and persuade them to put 50 pence in the meter and get it to spin again but they were having none of it but hey ho there you go um, but yeah it's it was quite a windy night uh, cold but it, at least it wasn't raining and I think we all came away with uh, a few shots or two so all in all I think it's been a quite a pleasant evening and uh, yeah look out for the images at the end of this video and hopefully we'll see you again soon take care guys see you again bye, bye.